good evening there and welcome back to the channel. I've come to the Dutch coast to photograph the great rift region of the Milky Way on this windy evening. So at the moment there are still pretty much clouds in the sky but uh, according to various weather apps the clouds will pass later. And uh, I hope the wind will also pass because we might have a bit of an issue with sharpness of our shots, but hey, let's go. So let me take you with me with the planning for this night. Uh, on Stellarium uh, we can see that the sun is uh, setting in the west uh, around 7 o'clock and shortly after sunset we see that the Milky Way uh, is becoming visible in the southwest. Uh, Astro darkness will kick in around yeah, quarter past 8 so that's the time we can start photographing. And we can see that the core region of the Milky Way is uh, already largely below the horizon but the Great Rift region above it will be beautifully visible. Uh, it's visible from around uh, half past 8 until more or less uh, yeah half past 11 and it moves from a southwest to a west direction. So we need uh, to have a location where the light pollution in the west southwest isn't too bad. So I've decided to go to a spot on the Dutch coast where I've uh, been before. Uh, it's around here. And the beauty of this place is there is a jetty which is a beautiful subject which is pointed in, uh, yeah, in a westerly direction and there is also a parking place right next to it and it's only a 5 minutes walk to the shooting location. Alright, back to the coast. Well, as you might be able to hear and see, it's quite windy here. The clouds fortunately have uh, gone away, so it's uh, pretty clear. The Milky Way is uh, visible just above this jetty. So uh, yeah, it's so windy, I am a bit curious how sharp my photos will be, but um, we'll see, we can't do anything about it, right? <laughs> Time to fire up the Star Tracker and start making photos. But what was I photographing again? Let me explain. Milky Way core season is now definitely over, as I said also in my previous vlog. But it doesn't mean we can't photograph other beautiful regions of the Milky Way. So today we are photographing the Great Rift region and that's the region which is just above the, uh, just above the Milky Way core. And it is not as bright as the Milky Way core, but still mm, pretty much. And the beautiful thing about the Great Rift region, I think, is that there is a really dark dust lane of interstellar clouds running through it, which actually blocks the vision of uh, the more brighter parts of the Milky Way. And this makes it very contrasty and well-defined. I think it's a beautiful part of the Milky Way still. Okay, let's see uh, how the results are uh, coming up on the tracker. So the tracker is now done, I've made uh, 15 shots, let's see how it turns out, how sharp it is. Okay, that does not look too bad actually, it's not the sharpest in the world but I think it's very workable, some high clouds passing through, perhaps I'll uh, get another stack just to be sure but we didn't come out for nothing. And that is the truth indeed. Despite the windy weather conditions, I came out anyway, and in the end, I am incredibly happy with the end results. Let me know in the comments what you think.
All right, so I think that's it. Clouds have rolled back in, but uh, I don't really mind because I've had uh, about one and a half hours of clear sky time. There was a bit of high cloud, a bit of haze in the sky, but I don't mind. It gives uh, the stars a bit of atmosphere, a bit of a glow. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed the adventure again. I'll see you on the next one.